Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to show you how to make this puffy pendant. And you can see that it does have this dome shape to it. Yes, I did bake it on uh, at the bottom of, um, of a can. So even the back is dome shaped, but you can see that it's hollow inside. So I want to show you how to do that. And I'm going to design today with my stencil. I'm just going to place it right on top, just like that. I'm not pressing it or anything. I just want to make sure that it's nice and it's sitting nice, nicely on top. And the two mica powders that I'm going to be using, this is actually the powder that I used for this one. You can see it looks just slightly different. How nice it is when you put a varnish on it. And today I'm going to use silver and that reddish bronze color. So, I place my stencil on top and now it's time to start applying the mica powder. And there are so many different colors that you can get of mica powders. Just so many. Different combinations that you can come up with for different outfits that you have. So we're going to have this one, we'll have half of it is going to be silver, the other half is going to be reddish. We'll see how that's going to come out. It's really funny because I find that totally unintentionally I am using colors that match my clothes. So the other day I realized that I was wearing shirt like that and this color and I was able to wear it so that was super exciting it's always fun to be able to wear what you make All right, so let's just blend the colors and shake off the excess just a little bit more I love pulling the the stencil off because it's just it looks so beautiful it just looks so so pretty the design and there are so many stencils and you can create your own stencil I'm going to show you how to do it in my future videos because I have made my own stencils for jewelry and I love them okay and those you can just make from acetate Alright, so let's see what we got here. This is the size that I'm going to be going after. So yeah, that's good. Mm. Ta-ta! Isn't it gorgeous? It is so pretty. Let me just blow it off. Blow off the excess. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Alright, so me see I want some silver and I want some red so you're going to take it your cutter the sharp end on top and you're going to place your clay on top and then you don't want to make too much of an indentation because it's just going to look funny you just want a little bit it's amazing how a little bit of it can make really a profound difference in the pendant. Okay, so we're just gonna stretch it just a little bit, make sure that the ends are tight. And then I have another black clay that I rolled out. Actually, you know what, let me just stretch it just a little bit more. And both pieces are rolled out on number one of the pasta machine. I think this is going to be enough. So. I'm going to place it right there on top. And cut. I'm not going to move yet, but you can see it when you when I cut it. I don't know if you can see 
that it puffed up even more. Now I want to decide where how I'm going to wear it because I want to punch out another another hole with it. This one. So do I want the colors at an angle? Do I want the silver on top and the red at the bottom? And um, personally, what I'm going to do is, you see that? You can see the, the puffiness. I think I kind of like it when it's at an angle. So I'm going to punch my hole right there. Right there. Let me see if I can do it. Oops, sorry about that. And when you do that, the whole pendant puffs up even more. So, I'm going to take the clay off. I'm going to take that out. And you can see at the back actually I can do that right now this is just black shall I just leave it black I could put some mica powder on it but you know what I'm just gonna leave it as is or shall I do that I don't know I have not decided you could put mica powder in the back just to make it prettier let me see if I can pop it out without destroying it too much You have to be very, very careful. Okay, it comes out. It's coming out. There. Oh, what I get. Oh, I like it. Now, you can see that I took and I did smear a little bit of the mica powder with my glove. It's, I mean, it's, the mica powder sits pretty good in there, but I did smear it a little bit. I'm gonna see how it comes how it's going to come out when I bake it. Oops. You know, I don't even know if I'm gonna bake it at a, at a I don't know if it's necessary to to bake it at an in, in, in that little dome which you can see is the bottom of a can. So I might just just bake it flat, but you can see that I smeared it just a little bit here. So I think if you are going to work on it and not have gloves there's a benefit to it. I think it works better when there's no gloves. So anyways, so this is what I have. I'm going to bake it and varnish it and I'm going to post the picture on the, on the, the on my blog. So check it out. Hope you enjoyed this really easy video and give it a try. Till next time my friends. Ta-ta!